Hey guys, what's up? It's Devin LaVore coming at you. <laughs> and I got my little lady with me here because I want to do uh, share something about having a childlike heart. Hey guys, what is up? Now listen guys, you know, we all have differing opinions on this, that, and the other thing right? But I would rather have a humble heart and be a little bit lacking in the knowledge because I can grow in the knowledge, right? But what if you were a person that knew so much, but yet you had no heart for, um, for God? Right? Or you have a heart for God, but you don't really have a relationship with God. Or your, your heart's all crusted over. You know? I'd rather have a heart that's soft toward the Lord. That's actually what that word means, to delight in the Lord. And he'll give you the desires of your heart. If you look up that word, the very definition of that word delight means to be soft. You know, I got people who always want to argue with me and debate with me for just about anything. You know? But I'm just like, you know what? This little lady is not trying to argue with me or debate with me. Although sometimes you do, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, she, it's like, this is why, this is what Jesus would like us to have, a heart like hers, you know? Where it's always humble, it's always open to change, it's always willing to yield to reason. What kind of heart would you like to have? You know, do you wanna, it's like the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 13, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but have not love. You know, and it's like, what does 1 Corinthians 8 say? 1 Corinthians 8 says, knowledge puffs up. Like the more knowledge you get, the more prideful you can tend to get. But love edifies. You see what I'm saying? And love and humility are basically twin brothers. <laughs> you know, they're one and the same. You can't be always, because see, if you're a person that's constantly criticizing and judging and scrutinizing other people's opinions, then you do not have love. You do not have God. Why? Because, or your relationship with God is very much in trouble. Because God says he opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. He gives himself to the humble. You know, Psalm 25, 14 says that the companionship of the Lord belongs to those who are humble. Now, me and this little lady, we get into some battles sometimes, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> But we always come together, and it, no matter how intense our, our battles are, our relationship is always good, you know? As you can see, she loves me, and I love her. <laughs> so it's like, this is what's most important to God, having that relationship with God. You know, it's not about, you think God really cares how much you know? He doesn't. What God cares about is, how is your heart? You know, what's your heart like? What is your, is your heart humble? Is your heart just open to him? Who cares about knowledge and how much you know? You know, it's like nobody does. Even unbelievers, they don't care how much you know. They want to know how much you care. So do you want to have a humble heart or do you want to have this prideful, I know everything heart? Because see, that is the Pharisees. The Pharisees had that heart or that mind rather. And that heart that was just God was right there in front of their face in the flesh, and they were, all they want to do is bicker and argue and judge everything he said. So it's like, I don't want to be that person. I want to be the person who's humble at heart and gets to know the Lord, and then he can change my mind as things go, go along, you know? With a humble heart, God can actually share himself with you and the things that he feels. And he, you can be a friend of God with a humble heart. A, a, mind, a heart that's just really closed off and hard, but a mind that just wants to know all this stuff because you think that that's really what righteousness is, actually you're wrong. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys got something out of this video and subscribe to the channel and go ahead, you say, say subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>